All right, aloha. And we're scanning essences. The combinations are all clear at the moment. And we've got vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and foods, so nutrition based here. Here, look at anything that interferes with the healing process. Something in here in the nosodes, homeopathics made from diseased tissues or causes of disease organisms. So just that one, and it is. Here. It's a uh, no so paratyphus 26, D26, homeo, so it's the bacteria resonance. Okay. And then in the frequencies and the epigenetics of the nest system, here's uh, ET13 fungal terrain. Colors and some metal minerals and uh, limes related nosodes. And we're getting that biological score index is good, pretty low. Uh, six, 15 times 1. Okay, and the 15 resonates with liver. We're in phase 3 liver. Phase three relate, fits in with what we see in the terrains and nests of the fungal terrain. That is fungal terrain and regenerative terrain as well when you clean out the dead material that the fungus would grow on. Something going on in here. And that is cerebrum. Yeah, so the cortex of the brain. Cortex. Got it. Cerebral cortex. Yep, cerebral cortex. Uh, yes. Is it in here? It's under cerebrum. Under cerebrum. Yeah, that's what it is on the on the okay. file as well. Hey, it's the nosode, the paratypus nosode is the head of causal chain. Should I put it as bacteria or nosode? Uh, just nosode is fine. Thoracic spine area is affected, most affected. Okay, so looking for the remedy for that no sode affecting the thor thoracic spine. So first of scanning mentally, not uh, getting the into the location, so scanning through all the complexes to see if something resonates when I get get it actually in my field. Okay. No. No. Okay. Uh, possibly something herbal or homeopathic. Homeopathic. I get a yes. Let's see. I'm going to disappear for a moment. <laughs> okay. Something over here. There's something. And it's petrochem antitox. So homeopathic for detoxification of petrochemicals. Interesting. And that is balancing phase three terrain. And the ET13 fungal terrain. Again, they're related uh, energetically in terms of the biophysics. And it's balancing also that uh, no so resonance. Okay. Great. Wow. This is 
Liver is next, head of causal chain and most effective. So something for the liver. Try some usual suspects. Um, mentally scanning. Possibly something in the herbs up in this area. Ah, yep. Sinara scolomus, that's a great liver herb. And that'll, they're both liquids, we'll put them both in the terrain restore. So it's only one bottle so far. S I N. Uh, C Y N. Oh. A R A. C Y N. Oh, there it is. Yep. Globe artichoke. Yep, globe artichoke. Scolomus. The species name balances the liver okay. and looks to be just the brain left so far. We'll double check everything because this is very, very clear test. Okay, so yep, head and tail for the cerebrum. Liver and brain are the basic electrical polarity in the body. So, with those being stressed, that could relate to the low energy. Liver and brain. Now we're on the brain. Reverse age, two a day. Reversing glycation, one of the basic ways that the body is damaged with aging. Uh, the sugar molecules combining onto our proteins, our nucleic acids like RNA, DNA, and, and the oils and fats. So, Preventing that and helping the body to be able to replace those damaged parts to make things work better. Sage twice a day is balancing cerebrum. And I'm going to just double check and scan through, see if anything. Sometimes things that don't show up initially will emerge as we clear. None of the meridians, that's unusual. It's great. Really good. Okay, now I am seeing uh, neuro, AT8 neuro terrain. Now comes up. Okay. And it's not head and tail. So I'm going to look again at the essences. No. Some, going to be something else. I haven't tracked it down yet. Nice to help the nervous system. Maybe there's a different nosod or even a miasm. Let's see. So it's interesting to see. No? Okay. Check these, check these. About different areas in the body, acid, alkaline. It could be a what we call an interference effect with interference filtering. Um, a combination of two things together that are the trigger. So uh, I'm going to look in a couple places for possibly. That, with that in mind, what what would be so BFA in combination with something, and I think it's going to be in the essences here. I have a feeling. Layer four is BFA. Uh, B, yeah, BFA, and there's going to be a specific essence I think over here. Yep. And it is bog rosemary. That's the remedy? No, these are the oh, together of the stress. I see what you're yep. saying. Okay, got it. Together those identify as the head and tail. So it's a combination of some distortion in the body field in, in, in specifically related to uh, the psychoemotional pattern, psychoenergetic pattern of bog rosemary, which we'll look and see what we can find out about that. That's from the Alaskan flower essence. Okay. And what will balance it? And I, maybe something in here. We'll check lots of different essences to see what balances that. Probably not a combination. No. 
there's something in this row right here toward the left that one and that is Montana rhodochrosite mineral gem essence kind of a pinkish mineral can you uh, hang on just one second and, and, and spell that for me? Yep. R H. R H. O D O. O D O. C H. C H. R O S. R O S. I T E. I T E. O Okay. And that's a gem essence? Yes. Okay. The All right. Alaskan. Ah, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I found the one for the uh, Bob Rosemary. Cool. Lacking trust in oneself and others. Immobilized by a fear of the unknown. I get yes on fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown, okay. The not okay. immobilized though, just fear of the I'm, unknown. I'm not getting a, a week on that. I mean, the okay. whole resonance may, may certainly, you know. Inability to in take things. risks in order to grow or heal. I'm getting the fear of the unknown. Is, okay. is, a, is a key. You can put a, put all of it in for okay. for interest okay. and, and maybe highlight, underline, or, or a bold or whatever. Okay. The, here we go. So that's interesting because that makes me think of kidneys, of course, the seat of fear, and that's in that, like very close to the thoracic spinal area that was resonating with the and we had the petrochemical, which could be stressing the kidneys. Probably old stuff coming out, very likely. Uh, and we've got the globe artichoke, artichoke that supports the liver. Liver and kidney, which the pancreas is the most sensitive organ. That's what regulates that and the sugar levels. The sugar levels get dysregulated. That's when they tend to do more damage from the ages. All right. Well, it's, it's one bottle of drops, like a U. That's really cool. That's, uh, that's what I'm getting. Nice and simple. Rhodochrosite. Yeah. Increases energy, balance, yeah. and stability in the heart chakra and in the physical body. Mm, all of that. Brings a balance of nurturing earth energy to the heart chakra after an experience of deep healing and transformation. Yeah, all of that is resonating okay. strongly. Isn't that a pretty mineral? It's gorgeous. <coughs> if I remember correctly, it's a feldspar. Could be wrong. I don't know what that means. A class of minerals that uh, breaks down into clay, but different combinations of minerals give it different colors. There's lots of different feldspars. Signal on this here. Oh, don't tell me that didn't work. 